Season 2 of Special Ops Lioness is officially happening. We've been digging into Season 1 to break down the ending and give you all the details on what's next. It looks like the new season will head to Mexico and dive into the battle against the Mexican drug cartel. So, let's jump into what we know so far and unpack everything about the ending and the new mission ahead. Whether you've heard or not, just a few weeks after Special Ops Lioness Season 2 was officially given the green light, the filming has already kicked off. The latest buzz comes from a behind-the-scenes shot posted on the official Lioness Instagram page, showing a production slate on Zoe Saldana's chair labeled for her character Joe. Season 1 wrapped up with a pretty intense and complicated ending. Cruz's first mission didn't exactly end on a high note. Leading up to the finale, Cruz had developed strong feelings for her target Aaliyah and confessed her love after they spent the night together. Her emotional involvement with the daughter of a dangerous terrorist complicated her mission to eliminate Asmar Ali Amrohi. Despite this, Joe made sure Cruz stayed focused since the mission had to continue. The big question going into the Season 1 finale was whether Cruz could set aside her personal feelings and complete the mission. Her struggle with her morals was a major theme throughout the season, and her romance with Aaliyah only muddied the waters further. In the end, Cruz faced a crucial moment when Aaliyah's fiancé, Ison, discovered her secret and confronted her without any backup. Cruz ended up killing both Ison and Asmar, barely escaping with the help of the QRF team. However, the future is left up in the air, and what comes next is anything but clear. And by anything but clear, we mean what happens to Joe and her family after the ending of Season 1. While Cruz wrestled with her morals and identity as a Marine, Joe faced her own struggles being away from her family. Her relationship with her husband Neil was strained, as her demanding job kept pulling her away from him and their two daughters. Things took a turn when Kate, their daughter, was involved in a serious car accident. This incident made Joe more determined to be present for her family. Despite this, the end of Cruz's mission didn't seem to resolve Joe's personal issues. Before heading off to Majorca for the wedding, Joe promised Neil she'd switch to a desk job after the mission. Although Neil was skeptical, Joe's visible defeat after the mission left viewers hopeful that she might keep her promise. Upon returning home, Joe had a breakdown, opening up to Neil about the tough nature of her recent assignment. The finale didn't give a clear answer about Joe's future, but it wouldn't be surprising if she decided to leave the Lioness program and take that desk job. And then there's the puzzle of how Cruz wrapped up her mission in Season 1. The night before Aaliyah's wedding, she sneaked into Cruz's room, wanting to experience love one last time. Cruz tried to tell Aaliyah that she wasn't who she thought she was, and she stepped out to get some water. While in the kitchen, Cruz had her first face-to-face -face with Aaliyah's father, Asmar. Based on this brief encounter, you wouldn't guess he was a terrorist, but then Isan barged in, confronting Cruz about being a Marine, which led to her killing both men. Cruz quickly called for extraction from the Lioness QRF team, and despite the gunfire, she and the squad managed to get on the boat safely. Once on the yacht, Cruz attacked Joe. Given the emotional roller coaster she'd just been through, murdering two men close to the woman she loved, her reaction was understandable. But with the mission behind her, it seems Cruz will never see Aaliyah again after the Season 1 finale. That said, one big question is whether Cruz is done with the Lioness program. It seems like killing Asmar might have been Cruz's last mission. She wasn't happy with who she had become in the program, and she mainly blamed Joe for it. After getting to safety, Cruz and Joe had a heated exchange on the boat deck. Cruz accused Joe of turning her into a monster, while Joe tried to defend her actions, saying they had saved lives by taking down a terrorist. Cruz made it clear that she was done with both Lioness and Joe. Before leaving, she had one final parting shot telling Joe Maybe he is what you said, maybe she wasn't, referring to Asmar and Aaliyah. Cruz argued that while they eliminated one terrorist threat, they created more because Aaliyah would one day tell her children about her grandfather's death. So even if Special Ops Lioness gets Season 2, it seems unlikely Cruz will be part of it, given how she cut ties with the program. Another big mystery is why the U.S. government didn't want Aaliyah's father dead. Throughout Season 1, it was clear that Cruz's mission to kill Asmar was controversial. By the end of the season, it became obvious that the U.S. government wasn't too thrilled with the plan. 
Secretary of State Edwin Mullins, played by Morgan Freeman, was particularly upset and wanted the CIA Deputy Director Byron Westfield to call off the mission. However, because Cruz couldn't be extracted without blowing her cover, they had to go through with it. After Asmar's death, Mullins and his team were furious. Even though Asmar was a terrorist, he had significant influence in the oil industry, and they worried his death would seriously damage Middle East relations and mess up their plans to move away from fossil fuels. But since Asmar was on the CIA's kill list, Byron pointed out that if they wanted him alive, they shouldn't have put him on that list in the first place. The finale definitely left the door open for more stories to unfold. It wrapped up with several lingering questions that could be explored in Season 2. Joe's future with the Lioness program was left up in the air, and while Cruz quit the team, we didn't get a clear picture of her next steps after the mission. Plus, Caitlin's strained relationship with her husband remains somewhat unresolved. So with all these threads hanging, Season 2 has plenty of potential for deeper storytelling and new developments. As for what we know about Season 2 and its focus on the Mexican drug war, according to insider Daniel Rickman, Lioness is officially coming back for Season 2. The new season is set to be an anthology, which means it'll feature a different cast and story. This time, the action will shift to Mexico and dive into the drug cartel scene. It sounds a lot like Sheridan's 2015 movie Sicario, but keep in mind, none of this is confirmed yet, so we should take it with a grain of salt. Still, an anthology format isn't out of the question. Sheridan shows often follow a single story for multiple seasons or are standalone tales. For instance, his recent show Lawman, Bass Reeves, is also going the anthology route, focusing on different figures from the Old West each season, so this idea isn't too far-fetched. And in case you missed the connection, Sicario is a 2015 action thriller directed by Denis Villeneuve and written by Taylor Sheridan. The movie stars Emily Blunt, Benicio Del Toro, and Josh Brolin, and it follows an FBI agent who joins a government task force aimed at taking down a powerful Mexican drug cartel. Sicario was even in the running for the Palme d'Or at the 2015 Cannes Film Festival and hit theaters in the U.S. with a limited release on September 18, 2015, before going nationwide on October 2, 2015. So, if Lioness Season 2 does end up tackling the Mexican drug war, it might feel like a return to familiar territory for Sheridan. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one. With Taylor Sheridan's style being so consistent, do you think we'll see the Mexican drug war theme in Special Ops Lioness Season 2? Let us know your thoughts. And as always, your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below.